RISE works in rural communities of West Bengal, specifically an area uh, called Krishnanagar, and we're working with the poorest um, students in those communities. Chawal jawa te jai, ghash kaat te jai, maa ke shahar ji kori, ghar e kaat kori. One of the root causes of the high number of dropout rates within those communities is because of their inability to read and write. Young to learn and program in Madhuri, I'm the first generation learners that are guardian the shade of Shundo interaction and communication to it. That will put Bokurush there, Shikar Alo, Kimashika Shamon the Kunu Harunai. मताधे जीवन जात्रा की भावे शिक्षा रालों दे पालता दे बारे शेष अब कुनो सोचता ना दे तादेर मुद्दे नहीं क्लासे अनेक छात्रों छात्री एक्टर सर शवाई के बुजुर्ग ये तो पारे ना बोले बुझते पारे ना ताए भालो पार्षण कुत्ते पारे ना गातो शात मास जोड़े हैं बाग क्लस्टर कुछ। छोड़ो बन्नो, डेंजर बन्नो, शॉप थाट तो जिप्पा तो अनिश्चित। ये बंग तादेश शादे एक तो टेक टा आंतरिक भावे तारा निश्चे। तादेर जीनिश टा तादेर मुद्दों को रे भोजाचे। इडाई तादेर कच्चे शब्चे ग्रोन जोग गोहे उड़चे। बाग क्लस्टर शुंदा आम आजू दिन आवश्यक पल है बोर्डे लिखी है बुझी है दाई आरो माजू मोड़ दो पुरी खाने। One of the crucial parts of our program is that support that they're given a ratio of one to ten in the classroom, which is very very different from the school environment. अखुन अखुन वो बुलो पारी आगे जो बुलो बच्चों ने शेगला अखुन पारी आगे स्कूले जेते भाले लाख तो अखुन स्कूले जाए पोटी दिन जाए कामाय पोटी स्कूल कामाय पोट का भाल ऐ छटा एवं ऐ सेंस टा किंतु तादें फैमिली रूम दो तारा दीते पेरे चे तादें जरा नेक्स्ट जेनरेशन आचे तादें भाई बोल रा तादें क्यों किंतु तारा स्कूले टेने नहीं आज चे इटाई अमर मन होए उन्हें बेशी पावा लेखा पढ़ा पढ़ा कोई बुरी तो पुन्न अकुन ते के जो दी ना कोडी लेखा पढ़ा � so when I set up RISE, it very much started with the programme called the Enterprise Challenge and that was because I wanted my students in the UK to learn about rural India, understand a different environment, think about what it might mean to live or work or be educated in a different environment. The key to the Enterprise Challenge program is giving children in the UK that sense of um, empowerment, I guess, to feel like agents of change, to be able to make a difference to the wider society. In the Enterprise Challenge, we were trying to raise awareness for the girls in India who are dropping out around our age. I guess now we realise that we too are responsible for what goes on in this world, even if it's on the other side. Because after knowing that we've been such help, we want to do it again and again and influence others to do it again as well and make others realise that we are part of one community. Just look at the girls in India. We're fortunate enough to have all of this, to be in school and education is free here. I think it was actually one of the favourite bits for my students was that they had a partner school. It got them to reflect not only on their own situation and realise that there are people around the world that have similar or even worse barriers to learning and got them to actually look at themselves and for the first time in their lives have the opportunity to work to help someone else rather than being victimised in the press or vilified for being a young teenager. Actually they were positive agents of change and they really thrived with that idea. Uh, they particularly liked putting together the package to send over to their partner school and I think the thought that they could have a connection over such a huge distance was something that they'd never considered before.
So we're really fortunate to have a connection with HSBC and they provide us with fantastic volunteers who come and actually lead some of the workshops in the schools. The pupils get a chance to learn about business. Um, it is business with a realistic, I suppose, commercial aspect to it that they can understand. It's not part of the, the normal curriculum that people would get within uh, their normal day-to-day -day school life. So getting some people from HSBC to go in there and use the materials that have been pulled together for the Enterprise Challenge, I think is extremely useful uh, for all of these individuals. The unique element uh, for me about the Enterprise Challenge is really getting young people to think about being global citizens. It's not just about thinking about what they do day to day, but what we have done with RISE and with the Enterprise Challenge is really open their eyes to what life is like for children of the same age out in West Bengal. What we are most excited about and hopeful about is the fact that students in the UK are having a direct impact on children like Shampa, who comes from an extremely disadvantaged background. And students who are aware of that in the UK feel a real sense of pride and a real sense of happiness to know that they are making such an impact. If you can get that seed of what being a global citizen means, of what social enterprise means, into a child who's about 13, 14, that will last them for the rest of their lives and I think that is extremely powerful. I think that it's the best thing that it can happen to you because you learn so much that you don't realise how much you learn until like it's over and you do so much for other people that it actually gives you a warm feeling like afterwards. So I think it's the best thing that can happen to you. Like if you're 15, 16 years old and you're at school doing like just academic things, this will give you like a real opportunity to learn about things going on outside of the world, like what it means to be a global citizen, as well as being like an entrepreneur and like having like an entrepreneurial spirit to your side. I'm really excited about how far we've come in five years, all through collaboration, all through um, a sense of um, contribution uh, to our mission to address educational disadvantage. Ryder's vision is big. It is to one day within rural India um, be in a position where no child um, is illiterate and that every child is going to school.